Hello, Sagittarius. It's Elle here to do your 72-hour energy reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this, Sag. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing Sagittarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Sag, what we have on the board? Woo. Seven of Swords, Devil card. The bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Pentacles. Um, all right, so the Seven, so we got Seven, Six, Four. Okay. Um, Seven of Swords, of course, you know it. You heard everybody talk about it. Deception, trickery, lying, seeing, you know, stealing, cheating, all of that. Granted, that could be happening in your life right now. Where it was, it could be happening in your relationship sector, in your marriage, in your business, um, maybe even in business partnership. How you are coming off or how someone else you're dealing with is coming off. And, and some interpersonal connection is deceptive, is masquerading, is uh, maybe lying, trying to go unscathed, um, uncovered, uh, covert. The seven is the number of um, magic, you know, a mystery. So someone is trying to create some mystery. Well, they're, they're, they're creating magic. Uh, by being mysterious, mysterious uh, behavior. You know, they're, they're saying, look over here, don't look over there, you see? Um, as they sneak off and steal five of your swords, don't look over there, look over here. I'm trying to go uncovered, unscathed. Don't find me out. I am masquerading around to be something I am not or someone I am not. It This could be you, Sags. This could be how someone else is coming up in terms of you. This is altogether just cheating, lying, stealing. It's just bad. It's just bad energy. Um, someone could be doing this. It could be a masculine energy. It could be a feminine energy. I don't know. Um, but someone could feel as if... Um, this is a toxic and stuck situation, okay? And now someone is appearing clingy and um, overly dependent upon. It's only because they have this, this inner knowing, this inkling that something is off, something is not right. Somebody's energy is coming off as just not right. Um, they are masquerading. They are hiding something from you. Uh, Sag, this is what you're doing. Someone could also just be doing black magic or um, magic, dark, dark magic, black magic, whatever you want to call it. Someone is trying to go undetected in terms of what they're doing. Because they want someone to always be in their energy, to be stuck clingy tied to them they're trying to possess them or they're possessive trying to dominate the situation be domineering over another person they're trying to exert their force and their will on the other one this all comes from fear fear of loss fear of losing them fear of not having them fear of them going somewhere and actually being happy because whomever this is is not happy The devil card is what 15 reduces to six. Six talks about creation. We create what we want. The devil card is not, um, you don't just you know go walking down the street minding your business and then the devil jumps on your back and rides you. No, typically you make a choice to engage in activity that will lead you down a road of entrapment and feeling stuck, tied and bound. So, the devil card is the sum total of your choices, of your creation. What did you create for yourself? Or vice versa, this could be someone you're dealing with. 
your person could have chose wrong or, or they're choosing to do wrong. Um, they're, they're masquerading like there's something else or you are masquerading like you're something else. You're trying to go unscathed, untouched. You really want to go it alone, but you're acting like you want partnership. Somebody is devilish in nature, low vibrational altogether, engages in all kinds of things you know about and you don't know about. They're trying to go unscathed, uncovered. Okay? And they want you to stay. They want some feminine energy, some foundational energy, some uh, motherly or mother of uh, type energy to stay, to stay stuck, to stay clinky. Or this is a feminine energy trying to keep someone stuck. By way of this ain't this is not good. You know, I don't I'm not one of those readers who and I don't talk about any of the, the readers. I think everybody's good and everybody serves their purpose here. Um, but I'm not like quick to be like, dark magic, black magic. I don't know that to be true. Sometimes you just instantly see it in readings. And other readers will attest to that. You just see it sometimes and you just you say it because you see it. And sometimes you might see it or you, do, or you don't see it. And you, you, it's just not. It, or the cards don't lend to you saying that and being confident in saying that. But sometimes the cards do lend to you, be you being confident in you actually saying that. And these two cards definitely lend to that activity. And it's all, you know, you, you don't shun these people. Your evil is as evil does, but at the same time, you know, you know, it's only two real emotions in this world. There's fear and love. And they're coming from a place of fear. You know, if, if you do want to attack the, the the problem at its root. Pray that this person comes out of fear in a lack mentality because anybody who's doing something like this, fear, lack, lack of everything, lack of self respect, esteem, all of that. They may walk around like this shit don't stink, but they probably cry hard at night about how they just are so unfulfilled, unhappy. Once again, going undetected unscathed about their real and true self and true activity somebody could be of course in the third party here they sneak away they go to the other person they're trying to not get caught doing this they're toxic they, they like it it's fun it brings an element of excitement and you know dynamite and it's dynamic and all of that stuff all the while they may have a family you know outside on the outskirts of town they go sneak into town and they do something. I just saw the uh, King of Swords. This could be a, a covert narcissist. They try to act as if they are not narcissistic, which pretty much just means just out for self gain, um, self attainment, you know, um, lacking uh, empathy and maybe even apathy also. Again, the Seven of Swords talks about really wanting to go it alone wanting to be the lone wolf but does that get you does that gain you the trust of people if you go to someone and say i really want to be it by myself i really want to go this alone i really want to do this business by myself no that is a game you followers you act like you are something you are not like you really want partnership i really would love to be in a loving marriage someday Really? You've gained trust. This person is horrible at at best. Anyway, I'm out of here. This is the arena for the next 72 hours. Oh, keep in mind, the energy can change. It can shift. I hope that it does shift for you. Sad if you're going through this. Go over to the website. Book your own reading there just to get clarity about your own situation. Um, there are coupon codes. Email me for a coupon code if you, if you are in need of that. Um, Ask a question or two by texting the question to the number below. Pay for your question. Receive the answer to your question on your mobile device. Thank you, Sagittarius. Many blessings to you. Take care.